Hello traders. Hello YouTube. Welcome back. I'm Will Bridges. This is 123 Trade. If you haven't already, you want to keep getting more of this content, go ahead and press the thumbs up button. Press the like button. Subscribe. Ring the bell. You're going to want to see the rest of this comment uh, content. There's a lot coming down the pipe. So today, what we're going to be showing you how to do is how to set up your first trade, how to place your first trade, how to make sure your account is verified and you're not going to have any problems trading it later. Uh, this is a minor snag for a lot of people. A lot of people don't understand why they can't place a trade in the account they just opened or why they can't place a trade anymore. But I want to show you guys what that's all about. And before we go ahead and get started, I'm going to cover my bases as usual. And I'm going to show you that everything in this video, everything in our channel here is for educational purposes only. If you put your money in the Forex market or any market for that matter, folks, your money is at risk. You've got to risk it to get the biscuit. So that being said, there is no such thing as a guaranteed investment. Okay, the only thing that you can control in trading and an investment is your risk. So you do not want to trade with money that you cannot afford to lose because our risk is the only thing we can control. So let's go ahead and keep on rolling here, folks. So let's just say you want to make sure that your account is verified. We'll go through that here first. Okay, I want to make sure that you understand what it takes to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up. We're going to go start from the Avatrade page. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log into my account. At this point, hopefully, you've got all your login and password stuff saved so you don't have to type it in just like me. I don't need to remember this number anymore. It just shows up. So now we're logged into my platform. Okay, this is where my back office is. And if I need to verify my account, if you're in Australia or if you're in Canada, you will not be able to trade at all until you do this. Okay, everywhere else you can trade for a week or two weeks or whatever it is, and then they shut you off until you turn this paperwork in. So this is something you're going to have to do, and it's very straightforward. So you come to your My Account page, you click on Upload Documents, okay? Now that we've uploaded, we clicked on Upload Documents, okay? ID card. So what I need to do is I need, I need to take a picture of, you know, the front of my driver's license or whatever government ID, something with my hard address, the country that I live in, wherever it is that I'm trying to verify that I live, because that's what this is for. Okay, so everyone's going to need a form of identification. Okay, other than that, you're going to need a utility bill. Okay, this doesn't necessarily have to be a phone bill. It doesn't have to be a water bill. It just has to be a bill with your hard address, no P.O. boxes. Okay, it could be your whatever, wherever your bank sends your bill. So if you have a bank statement, that could work as well. So there's a lot of different types of document you could use to verify, but you will need to submit one if you are looking for an application. There is an application called Cam Scanner that you can get on your phone, take pictures with your phone, and then just email those to yourself, load them up on your computer. Very straightforward. If you do have any issues, if you can't figure out how to do that, how to get these pictures scanned into your computer somehow, then please, please, please send an email to brokers at 123trade.com and we can give you a little bit more hands-on assistance because that's what we're here for, folks. Okay. So that's all you need to do once you've, once you've filled in your driver's license front and back, okay? You click upload, okay? You do the same thing with your, your utility bill that you're using or your bank statement or whatever it is, whatever you, it is you're using to verify, okay? After that, okay, if you're in Australia, you'll also have a questionnaire to fill out and that will be on this page as well. They'll have another step for that. And if you do have any questions about that, you feel like it's something that you need more information about yourself, Again, send an email to brokers at 123trade.com and we will help you out, okay? So perfectly normal for you to have questions about this, but as I said, you will not be able to trade your account in Canada or in Australia until after you have submitted this information. Otherwise, you can place your first trade the first day you open it and a couple of weeks will go by and they'll shut you off and then you won't be able to trade anymore. So no surprises, that's how this works. Okay, it usually takes about one day to get verified. And actually, if you send an email to us, brokers at 123trade, we may be able to get you verified even faster. All right, so now to the fun part, placing your first trade. Okay, so what we've done already in the previous video 
is show you how to set up Smart Trader. So now you want to know how to place a trade with Smart Trader. Okay, it's very you know pretty to look at, but I want to do something. Okay, so we've got a chart up here. We've got the USDJPY. Okay, if I want to pick any particular currency cross, currency pair, whatever it is. Okay. This is where I go to do it in this little bar here. I can type it in and it'll search. So if I want to trade the GBP USD, type it in, click on it. We've got the pound USD. So that's how you pick a chart. And right now, let's just say, I don't know, let's go to the Euro. This is everybody's favorite, everybody's high volume pair in the market every day. I've already got a bunch of stuff on this screen. Okay. So what I want to show you, your first trade doesn't have to be something fancy. OK, your first trade is really just a test to see if your account works and that you've hooked all this stuff up properly, because, you know, the last thing you want to do is end up in a live trading session, see something you really want to take advantage of and then not be able to trade it. So, you know, that's why I wanted to make sure I covered my base with, you know, getting your account verified. I want to make sure you understand, you know, you have end to end tests. The only way to end to end test your trading account is to place a trade. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bump down to the lowest possible lot size. Okay. Reason why I'm going to the Euro, the spreads typically less than one pip. So from a micro lot position, it'll cost about 10 cents to do something like this, but then you can get your first trade out of the way, get rid of some of the jitters, understand how simple it is to make this stuff go. And you know, you want to make sure you pick the right trading account. So this is uh, I have one, two, three trade client. Maybe that's not the account that I want to use. So if I want to use a different account, I need to click on manage accounts. Okay. Whichever one of your live account is. Okay. That's the one that you would want to turn on. So just for example sake, I'm going to show my smart trader demo account. If you want to do this in your live account, you're more than welcome to do so. So whichever one of these switches is to your live account, you can leave the other account open if you like. Okay. You don't have to close that out to place a trade in smart trader. Okay. Let me show you how that works. Okay. So now in this trading window, I'll spread this out so you can see a little bit better. Okay. So I've got my one, two, three trade. I've also got smart trader. This is the account that I want to actually place this trade in. Okay. So what I'm going to do, uh, you could set a stop and a limit. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quick open. I'm going to show you where it pops up in the bottom here. Okay. Organize this by account. Okay. I've got a bunch of smart trader demo trades already open. Looks like we're up like 700 pips total, but let's go ahead and see Euro USD. Okay. So I'm going to click on sell real quick. Okay. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I'm going to say, okay. Okay. Now I'm in the market. Okay. It just made that little arrow right there. That means that I'm in this trade. Okay. So this one's going to be pretty easy for me to find because most of my other trades are going to have stops and limits in here. Okay. So here is my Euro trade right here. This is the one I just opened. So if I want to close it, confirm I've got end to end on my system here and everything works. Okay. Just close that trade out. That cost me eight cents. Now I know my trading account works and you know, a lot of things that people are going to want to understand also is how to find a stop and a limit, how to set a pending order. You know, if you want to test your account, that's really kind of the way to do it. And, you know, just for fun's sake, you know, we've been talking a lot about our prediction here. Let's go ahead and find a pending order that we can set up on, say, the GBP USD. Okay. I'm going to do some quick analysis on this. Okay. And we've already decided that we're long dollar. I mean, if you've been watching any of these videos, you already know we're looking long on the dollar, which would mean the pound USD we're looking short. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my smart Fibonacci tool. Okay. And what, what we're looking at here, we're almost down to this extension. So not necessarily a great time to jump in per this time frame. Let's go ahead and look at the daily, see what we're looking at here. Do the same thing. All right. So we have an opportunity for a breakout trade here. Uh, we could potentially try to do this right now, but we would have to set up in our AB boundary. But let's just imagine if I wanted to be really patient on this trade and I want to figure out, you know, where would I want to buy with both hands? Okay. We have not retraced back to our 618 level. Okay. This is important for equity management. I don't necessarily want to get in right now because I don't really have a, 
a level of resistance to protect myself other than where we sold, okay? So what I want to do is look for a stop loss that we can use. And I got to be outside of my AB boundary. Okay, make this red. All right, so our limit. This is important. We want to make sure we measure our risk reward ratio. I'm going to make my limit. I don't know why that's still red. Let's go ahead and go back here. I'm going to make my limit green. This is going to be my money line. Okay. The reason why I'm going to wait to get in this trade is because we're already at a low price. We've already taken profit on this pair. We've already closed out over 600 pips on this pair in the last couple of weeks. It's because we started selling it pretty early. You've got a couple active trades in here right now as well. So, I mean, we're expecting a lot of downward movement, but it doesn't necessarily need to go straight down. Okay. There's really no way to know exactly how long it's going to take for it to fall. The market's going to do its thing. So if I want to set myself up for an opportunity that if the market gets there, I'm going to catch it like a surfer and I'm going to wait for the wave because surfers don't chase waves. They sit at the break line. That's what I'm doing. I'm sitting at the 618. I want to catch this trade on the nose folks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move over to pending. Okay. This is a pending sell order that I'm looking for. Okay. And I've got a 1.31. Nine five. I want to make sure I get in because if I am selling, this is a bid chart that I'm looking at. These lines that I draw are not exactly where the sell prices are at. Okay, The ask prices are a little bit higher than the bid prices. So that is something you need to understand. More on that later when we get to equity management. Don't forget about these videos. There's more to come. But for right now, let's go ahead and set our stop, set our limit. Setting the stop and the limit is the same on the market order. I didn't show that for the example before, but literally it's the same thing. It's just on this window instead of this one. Okay. So I've got my price I want to get in. I need to set my stop. We'll say 1.35. 1. Okay. Limit. And this is going to be, let's see, my green level below 1.2328. All right. And now there's nothing else to do. My trap is set. I click place order. I click OK. Request has been sent. Order is being placed. I now really just have an amazing place to get in. If the market gets there, we get a great trade. If nothing happens, then no sweat. But that's how you place a trade, folks. Um, I also want to show quickly how to do this in, in MetaTrader 4 as well. Okay, This is a little bit different in MetaTrader 4. But let's go ahead and bump over to MT4 show you this as well. And what we're looking at over here, MetaTrader 4 is going to have this window on the left. This is all of the you know, currencies, commodities, everything that you can trade. There's a bunch of stocks in here. There's a ton of stuff you can trade here. Okay. So if I want to trade any one of these things, okay, let's just say I want to open up a chart on, this looks like copper. I'll just pull it over here, click, drag. I've got this chart on copper. Okay. Let's imagine if I wanted to sell on copper. Okay. I've got this little arrow up here. You may not see this order window unless you've clicked on this little baby arrow here. Okay. This order window is going to default to 1.0 lots. You're going to want to change that for your first trade. I usually move it down to 0 0.01. This is just so you can figure out how your account works. Okay. So from here, okay, all you have to do is just click on sell or click on buy and you can immediately get into the position. And then in this trade window that's on the bottom, you click on trade. The trade will exist down here at the bottom. All you have to do to close it out is click the X. Okay. I will have more videos on MetaTrader 4 and how this functionality works. As far as your first trade goes, might as well just do it in Smart Trader. We did just show how to do that. There's going to be a lot more complicated stuff that we need to teach in MetaTrader 4, and that is a lesson for another day. But that being said, thanks for showing up, folks. Thanks for allowing us to help you place your first trade. We are honored to help you place your first trade. If you have not already, go ahead and press the thumbs up, press the like button, subscribe, ring the bell. We look forward to seeing you again soon. You guys have a great rest of your day.